SEO factor number four, HTTPS. HTTPS is a secure website. HTTPS for blog website is not necessarily, but if you really want, your blog must have hosted in dedicated web server and must have dedicated IP address. In blogger.com, you can turn on these features, the HTTPS features under the blogspot.com domain name. You can go to setting section and there have a HTTPS there and you can turn it on. In blogger.com, if you purchase a domain name, you can't bring the HTTPS. Why? Because the HTTPS certificate is under the blogspot.com domain name. So you can't bring if you purchase a domain name for your blog. But if your blog hosted in a web server with dedicated IP address, you can purchase your own SSL certificate under your domain name. According to Google Webmaster Central Blog, HTTPS for website is a ranking signal. Your website ranking signal boosts a little bit, but for blog, it's not necessarily. Mostly HTTPS, mostly see in e-commerce website because HTTPS, guys, is like an encryption, which is primarily important for websites for purchasing processes or sensitive client information to increase trust and conversion rate. Okay, guys, this is the wrap up for HTTPS. Your site must have a great user trust, little bit search ranking boost, and facing protection, mostly e-commerce website. Okay, so let's proceed to the next SEO factor. SEO factor number five, dot .com domain as a ranking factor. Actually guys, dot .com, dot .net, and dot .org don't have any influence in search engine ranking factor. But in Google search result, mostly top 1 to 30 are .com website. I should recommend you to keep .com domain name because this is mostly people knows and most popular extension of the website. And this is the domain name best practices. Your domain name should be easy to remember. Don't too long guys, make it short. 2 to 3 Praises is good as long as short. Try to get two praises, guys. Two praises domain is best. And don't build just a blog. Build a domain brand name. Why? Because if more and more people know your website brand name, if more and more people type your domain brand name in Google search engine, it will increase your website authority. And lastly, for your domain name, don't use illegal words, especially if you're applying in AdSense. AdSense is very strict on this. In this example, howtohack.com, if your domain name has a illegal word, you'll be not qualified in AdSense. The sixth SEO factor is URL link or permalink. This is the one important SEO factor, guys. Make sure your blog URL is SEO friendly. As you see in this example, in Blogger, this is the right SEO-friendly URL, your blog, and the date, and the following post title with keyword included. As you see the green color of the text, that's the keyword included in the post title. In WordPress, this is the example of SEO-friendly URL, your blog, and the category Hong Kong, and the post title with keyword included. In blogger.com, permalink is automatically generated by the system in post editor, but you can create your own custom permalink if you want in the post editor. In WordPress, by default, permalink is not enabled. You need to configure in the settings section. As you see in this bad example for blog URL, this is the default permalink for WordPress. And avoid any unnecessary characters in your blog URL like number, percent, asterisk, or plus sign. And 
Lastly, use dashes as separator in post title. Don't use underscore. Why? If you use underscore in your post title, the search engine algorithm read your post title in one word. If you concat your post title in underscore, the right way is dashes as you see in the correct one. The seventh factor, page feed. This is very important guys. Did you know 80% leave to the site if the site are very slow to load? Even me, I'll leave quickly to the site if the site are very slow to load and find another good website. And slow performing website would be penalized in search rankings. And this issue can cause high bounce rate to your website. We will talk about bounce rate later in this course. My website speed is not extremely fast but it's fairly good and my bounce rate are very good because it's not very high and remember guys good speed of the website plus good content plus low bounce rate equals good rankings in search engine and let me show you my website speed we will test the site speed both home page and post page first copy this url we will try the post page first copy and go to this tool page speed insights and analyze again guys my website speed is not extremely fast but it's fairly good and let's wait the result and as you see the result guys i know it's not look good to you because the result for mobile is 58 and for desktop version is 69 and there have an issue we need to be fixed this is not extremely fast but it's fairly good why because my bounce rate are very low let me show you my google analytics and as you see guys the google analytics for axelmulat.com the bounce rate percentage is very good because if your bounce rate is 50 percent and up your bounce rate are very very bad the good bounce rate is below 50 percent every day every month and year let me show you every day my bounce rate in february 1 double click the date apply 23 percent hit apply 30 percent and the third day of february apply 25% and let's click the whole month of January apply which is 23.90% which is very good remember guys low bounce rate to your website equals good ranking let's back to page speed inside test the home page of my website copy this and we will test both home page and post page and the home page is pretty the same to post page same speed score and let's try the blogger website which is we will cover in this course copy this url and paste the speed score guys are very bad because mobile and desktop version it appear red 58 over 61 in this course we will try to improve the speed of our blogger website blogger.com has a limitation in this but we will try our best to increase the website speed on our blog in blogger.com we will continue guys the SEO factors later in this course if you have a thought on this video kindly fill in the comment box section and i'll respond as soon as possible if you think this course is very helpful to you kindly please like and share this course to the other people you know especially in social media facebook twitter and google plus as well and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel guys because more great videos to come once again my name is axel mulat see you next video bye for now